Music can only mean one thing. We are gonna play a Doctor Who game. This is your Gibbs, and uh, let's get into this. This is a Doctor Who the Adventure game, and uh, we have uh, four episodes. It looks like I've uh, got the first two. They're five dollars on uh, Direct to Drive. I'll send a link in the description. You know where to find that. Uh, City of the Daleks, Blood of the Cyberman. So these are actually probably the two most famous enemies, or at least the ones that I'm aware of anyway. So it's kind of neat to actually put them right in the game. You'll see the Doctor here and Amy. So these are kind of from the new series that's out on BBC right now. And, uh, you know, as I, most of you know, I live in Canada, so we actually get the show on CBC, which is sort of the equivalent to BBC being a public broadcaster. So anyways, let's get into this. Uh, I'm doing this as an LP because I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what the next one's going to be. Uh, I need you guys to do a simple vote. There's a bunch of games I've listed. Click on the link. Let me know what you guys want me to do next. In the meantime, let's have fun with this one. Alright, let's start it up. So that's what the Dalek looks like, and uh, they are a very famous uh, enemy of uh, Doctor Who, dating back decades, I would, uh, I'd say. Uh, inside of them is a little alien dude thing, hopefully that's not a spoiler for anyone. And then they have this armored outer shell, and you can see what looks like a toilet plunger. Um, it has a function, I forget exactly what it does, but the other thing is a little laser dude laser and then the thing off the top of its head is its eyeball I guess or camera or whatever but uh, yeah these things are pretty deadly they can fly and yeah so so anyways uh, let's uh, get ready to enjoy the game there's the doctor and there's Amy 1963 such a good year that's uh, the year you bought that outfit then you know, we can go see the Beatles play in 1963, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Can I meet John Lennon? What? Not Ringo? Why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo? There's no such thing as a sexy drummer. You know, I'd never considered that. Then again, why would I? 1963. The Beatles' first two albums. Sean Connery as James Bond, The Kings, The Rolling Stones, Mary Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. All right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. No. Impossible. Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like 2963 or something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. Looks pretty messed up. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time. On a massive scale. Hmm. Doctor, look. Lady in pink. Human heart! Oh, Get down! The last survivor of Earth will be exterminated! Yeah, the uh, sound effects of the Dalek are so creepy. It's a famous line there. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting little uh, endeavor of uh, BBC. You can see they've got Matt Smith, who plays the Doctor, and Carrie Gilly. They're actually uh, the main actors of the series on TV. And uh, they've got them to do this uh, adventure game series too, which is, uh, you know, that's it, it a definite uh, bit of uh, 
Well, it seems to make the uh, We've got to talk to her. Wait. God, those things are so creepy. Now we've got to talk to her. Come on. Ooh. Find the survivor. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Look and move. Okay. Talk. That woman escaped down a manhole. We need to find her. All right, action. When you get close to something of interest, it will glow. An icon will then appear indicating what you can do. Click the left mouse to interact. All right, that seems fair enough. Examine my police box. I have to find the woman. Okay, so that's the TARDIS. Oh, hints. If you get stuck, don't worry. Press escape to see what you need to do next. Talk to Amy, who may be able to help. She may have several hints, so do try talking to her again. Don't forget other characters and even objects can provide useful information. Okay. Uh, so it is said this hit escape. Oh yes, this takes me to the menu. Ooh, collectibles. Find the survivor, destroy the wooden barricade. Okay, I'll have to look for that. Enter the underground. Underground, I'm assuming they mean the subway. Ooh, fact. Purple. You found a fact! Who fact? Newspapers. Alright, that's interesting. I'm not gonna read all that. It does look neat, though. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Ooh, what's that thing over there? Huh. Alright, come on, Amy. Let's go back this way. We need to find another way around. Ooh, what's this head? Ooh, cool. Nelson's Column. Admiral Horatio Nelson died at the Battle of Trafalgar. Hmm. So I guess there's going to be a bunch of these, like, history things lying around everywhere. So, yay. Oh, wait, what's this? It's looking suspiciously like a barricade made out of wood. So how do I deal with this? Huh. Really? This car is perched up here, why? I don't like the way this taxi is balanced. One wrong move and it... Oh, okay. I see how this is going to work. Let's get that thing moving then. Uh, What else do we have here? Oh, fact. London bus. The red double-decker bus. Yeah, it sure is. Huh, interesting. 1829 was pulled by three horses. That's cool. Where I live in Toronto, uh, they actually have the double-decker buses, but they're used more for uh, tourists uh, to kind of take tours of downtown Toronto. Hackney carriages. Oh, I see. Licensed public taxi cabs of London. Neat. I assume that would be horse-drawn carriages at that time. Um, okay, so it's kind of funneling me this way, is it? Talk. Perhaps we can smash the barrier and get to the underground. Let's try that. Oh, dude. This way, thank you. Right. Stop! Look out for that Dalek. Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. Let's be careful, then. Stealth! Interesting. Alright, so we have... Green, yellow, red. Avoid the colored enemy beams. Run and hide. Huh. Alright. Hop down, please. Oh boy. Sensors alerted! Seriously? How did that even happen? Run and hide. Can I go this way? Stop into oh, the shit, shit, shit. Run past them. Run, Amy, run! Oh, you bit the missile. How unfortunate. Let's find out where the checkpoint is. Oh, okay, right back here. Whew. So, yeah. I guess the stealth is harder than I thought. Um. Seems a little sensitive. Okay, run! Okay, I don't know how to run. Well, let's, I think I saw a shiny thing over here. 
Collectibles! Yay for collectibles! Uh, grab it. The Sixth Doctor. Huh. Alright. So if you may not know, this game, uh, the Doctor is, uh, gets reincarnated, I guess, or put into a new body whenever they change the Hector. So it's a neat little mechanism that they- Whoa, what did I just do? Sonic Screwdriver. Huh. Okay, I hit space. I think I was trying to jump. Um, yeah, so they uh, reincarnate the Doctor when they change the actors. Um, it's a neat little... We should be safe now. ...written into the game. Push! Why don't we push? This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three! Very good, guys. Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the box. Or you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. Hmm. But they're more heavy metal. Ooh, cute. Uh, okay, so I guess we... We need to open the platform gate somehow. Cool. Whoa, inventory. You can pick up some items and use them on objects that are glowing. Uh, oh, another sonic screwdriver. Oh, I see. Okay, I hit space. That's why. Sonic screwdriver. So this is a fairly famous uh, instrument of the Doctor. It's pretty much a mechanism for him to be able to do anything. <laughs> Again, another uh, interesting way to write this uh, story here. Um, sonic pulse that controls mechanisms, key items, and power technology. Be careful down here. Like you never know what you're going to find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. The woman we saw must be around here somewhere. Don't move! Oh, ah, there you are. Hello. Indeed. Calm down, we're here to help you. How can I trust you? Do we look like Daleks? Us humans have to stick together. I'm the Doctor, by the way. And I'm Amy. Sylvia. Tell me what happened. When did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. Promise you, Sylvia. We can help you. Just tell us, please. It came out of the sky, like, like they tore a hole in it. Legions of Daleks flying out of it. So many, they turn the sky dark. Thousands and thousands of them, thousands. Exterminate! Oh, we get to have a conversation tree, or dialogue tree. Yay. How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away, but the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own. One woman army. She's not dressed like a soldier, is she? With the high heel boots and the short skirt. <laughs> and there are no other survivors. Okay. Us against the Daleks. They destroyed everything. Everyone. There's just me left. The last human being. That's what the Daleks said. Well, it was wrong about that, wasn't it? There's you two. Well, technically the Doctor isn't human. He's a Time Lord. The Daleks can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, I'm barely hanging on to my sanity as it is. Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. What was that? Oh, here they come. Look at how they just float and crap. Oh. I think it just got even more dangerous. I agree. Wait, wait, where did she go? Sylvia is safe. The Daleks can't see her. But we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. Ooh, more stealth. Yes. Okay, where did she go? Um. Can you see her? No, 
That looks like a dead end, so... Let's... Uh... Go this way, I guess. Oh, jeez, are we gonna have to go behind him? No, no, we'll just follow him. Hide in here quickly. Haha, ha, you can't see me. We need to catch up with Sylvia. Did, she, did I? I think I just saw her over here. Come on, quick. Amy, let's go. Yeah, there she is. I guess a good thing she's in pink. <laughs> so I can find her. Alright, what are we doing here? Stop! The track is electrified. And we need to reroute the power somehow and fast. Okay, and there's an electrical panel here. Let's use our sci-fi block pick. Known as our sonic screwdriver. Bad idea. What? This is going to take some manual rewiring. Oh, uh, okay, we don't need it. So what are we doing? Manually rewiring. Rewire fuse box. Oh, it's kind of like a little puzzle thing. Whoa. Um, okay, wait, I think I know what I'm doing here. Uh, join the pink to pink? Come on, get over there, mouse. Oh. Mm, uh, one more time. Why won't it? Oh, okay, damn it. I thought I had to go to that thing. Uh, let's see. Can we sneak in over here? Whoa, where's red gotta go? Damn. Hard, it looks like. Okay, let's try green. Come on. Oh, wrong one. Keep going the wrong thing. Uh, we go. Oh no, we go that way. Okay, that's that one done. All right, just red left. We can do this. Yes, success. And we get a little Doctor Who music there. Nice. Now it's safe. We better get a move on before that Dalek spots us. Well, that was a neat little game mechanic that actually felt like Hurry, Doctor. Real wires. The exit is just there. Kind of a bio sh no, not Bioshock. What was I gonna say? Saw. If you ever play any of those Saw games, they have different kind of mechanisms for puzzles. Booby trap. Huh. Yeah, Saw's a bit of a guilty pleasure for me. The movies in the game. Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. Hurry. Sylvia! Exterminate! Run, Doctor, run! Oh, Exterminate! No! Oh, you're gonna have a bad day, aren't you, Mr. Darlick? They killed her. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. Oh, boy. All right. Take me back to the TARDIS. Alrighty then, let's see. Um, let's try. Talk. Come on, Doctor, before more Daleks turn up. Run. Um, can we go this way? Let's go this way. All right, let's march it up. Climb. Not space bar. Ooh, crazy. Oh boy. Fact. Oh, we already had that fact. I don't need any more of those facts. So let me know in the comments if you uh, think this is a good idea. Well, actually, I don't really care if it's a good idea, but just let me know what, how you're thinking the... Uh, game is going here and uh, I decided to kind of throw this into the mix here because I'm kind of waiting for you guys to tell me what other game you might want me to do. Doctor? Amy? <coughs> uh oh, what's wrong with Amy? It's alright Amy, you're going to be alright. I felt so weird. 
It's going to be all right, Amy. I promise you, if I can analyze the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. But I don't get it. If humanity's destroyed in 1963, how am I still here? The TARDIS protects you, but we have to act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling, it's Scaro. The planet of the Daleks. Great. Coordinate set, we're going back to where it all began. The TARDIS. We're going to save the human race. So that's going to do it for this episode. This is Doctor Who, Episode 1, Act 1. I'll leave a link for uh, direct to drive where you can get both Episodes 1 and Episode 2 for $5. And we'll see you in the next uh, video. Thanks for watching.